Hello, Gemini. Hello, everyone. Oh, it looks like my camera is going to fall. All right, let's hope it doesn't fall. Um, and I need I need my glasses. Okay, let's start over. Hi, Gemini, and welcome to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. Um, I'm actually here to do um, a kind of a collective read for Gemini male, um, only because I was I was asked to do one today. So um, I'm really hoping my camera doesn't fall over and that we're good. It looks oh, okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed it doesn't fall over. Now this is for a Gemini male, however, roles can always be reversed in any reading, so it may hit home for any Gemini. Um, however, it is for the collective, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Just click off and visit another reader. There's plenty of great ones on YouTube. Um, this is also for um, adults only. And um, thank you all for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, um, and donations. If you want to make a donation, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And I appreciate all of your guys' support in any form. And, um, and I just, I love you all. I love my fans. So, all right, Gemini, let's get started on your reading. Um, now, this is going to be for the month of June of 2020. Time is fluid, so kind of, you know, just go with the flow, okay? But, um, yeah, this is for Gemini Mail for the month of June for 2020. This is what we got, all right? Gemini, um, so you're in your Knight of Swords energy here. Um, this is your overall energy for, for the month of July. The Knight of Swords is somebody who has something to say. Um, this is somebody who wants to clear the air. This is somebody who wants to cut through bullshit. This is somebody who wants to ride in with the truth. I hope you guys can see it. Um, Gemini, this is an air sign as well. Okay, so this is you. And uh, yeah, you have something to say. Now, it, the truth can be cutting, right? But this is going to be the truth regardless. So, um, and it may cause a ruckus, you know, it may start a fight, it may hurt somebody, but it is the truth and you have something to say and you want to say it in the month of June, right? Okay, let's get rocking and rolling. You could be dealing with a cancer, okay? This is the chariot. What you want is a victory. Look at this. We start your month with wanting a victory, okay? This is also wanting to be accredited, wanting, wanting to be victorious, wanting to be recognized for something, okay? Um, and this is um, coming in swift and steady for a victory after a battle, okay? Like I said, you could just be, just be dealing with a cancer as well. But yeah, I see you wanting victory in something, okay? You're wanting to celebrate or you're wanting to pour into this cup of love here. Um, now, this could have been a third-party situation. That may be something that you have to talk about. I don't know. Um, it doesn't have to be, though, okay? Um, what I see here is two cups pouring into one. It has undertones of a third-party situation, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. This is a celebratory card. So this is celebrations, partying, get-togethers, um, this can be very significant for, you know, like celebrating a birthday, celebrating the end of the quarantine, <laughs> celebrating, you know, celebrating anything, celebrating life, whatever. But you want to be victorious in this. You want this to be a celebration. You want to be celebrated, perhaps. Um, you want to be recognized for something. This could be also um, passing an exam. 
Um, this could be something that, you know, you just want to, other people are watching you here too. It's almost like you want other people to see your accomplishments. This is accomplishing something. You know, you want to accomplish it. You want victory in something and you want a celebration. That's what I'm feeling there. All right. Um, because you've been in your, either you or your person, take it however it resonates. You've been in your, um, in your mind about something, okay? Staying up at night, not being able to sleep, possibly having nightmares, perhaps getting messages through your dreams. Um, perhaps somebody is watching you at night too as well, okay? And you can kind of maybe sense that. Here's the thing about Geminis. Geminis are probably the most intuitive sign in the zodiac, okay? If somebody's watching you, you're going to know and sense it, and it would make you uneasy, so that could be for some of you. Probably not all of you, but some of you for sure. But each of these swords here is a thought that's on your mind that's driving you literally crazy. <laughs> well, at least it's making it it's making it really difficult to sleep okay you're having some sleepless nights here thinking about this queen of cups here once again this is the sign for cancer could be um, any water sign but mostly cancer um and this is cancer scorpio pisces as well so this is heavy on a water sign all right um but yeah, this is this is the holy grail of love here. And that's what this woman can deliver. All right? Especially a Cancer woman, especially the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very nurturing. She's very loving. She's soft, you know, but yet she's still a queen. But she's got this soft, tender heart and she nurtures people and she cares about people and she puts all of her in a very loving way into every relationship okay she's all about emotions as well she could be moody because honestly you know the the moon governs cancer but yeah, I'm picking up on cancer very strong in your reading and you're having sleepless nights over this person who usually would come and offer a cup of love. So she may be offering you a cup of love, Gemini male. And if it's love, it's true. If it's love, it's true. Or you may have this love for her and you can't get it off of your mind. Um, you want to come in. I believe it's you. You want to come in and offer this cup of love. Okay, now this is page energy. So it's kind of immature energy. So it's really sort of just a beginning a beginning of communication regarding something that's loving or something that's emotional okay um but yeah you want to come in and make an offer uh, because once again you you want to be triumphant in this i have an ant crawling around on the camera so let's see if he crawls over the lens because that would be really cool actually I want to let him keep crawling. Um, I should look up the ant thing too and see if that has any significance with you at all. But um, yeah, you you want to be a you want to accomplish something by offering this cup of love. This is what you want to accomplish. Okay, you want to make an approach. You want to ride in and have victory in the situation with this Queen of Cups, or you could be, like I said, she could be a cancer. It's a very strong cancer here so far. And it's just your first row. Okay. Yeah, you want to be recognized. You want to accomplish this task of, like, this is really on your mind. Hardcore. <laughs> Gemini, man, you got it bad for somebody. Or somebody has it bad for you. The roles can be reversed, but I'm just saying, you've got it bad for this person, and you want this bad. You want it so bad. 
Really? Or they want you, but I'm seeing that you want to come in. Yeah. You know, it could be both of you, actually, because I do have two Four of Swords cards, okay? So, you got the Four of Swords in your reading also. No, this is in your present row. Someone is taking kind of a breather. Someone's taking a rest from the situation. They've put their sword down for now. They're laying down. They're kind of meditating on it. Okay, see, this person's meditating, right? When you meditate on things, you're actually manifesting things, okay? Because your thoughts, the things that you think and the things that you say can actually come to fruition. But, you know, right now with these two cards, it was clarified with this, and then it was clarified with the Ten of Cups. What I'm seeing here, what I'm thinking is, you and whoever it is you're thinking about, that ant is about to crawl up. Oh, gosh darn it. I wish he'd crawl right across the lens because that would be cool. Anyway, you and I believe the person that you're thinking about are mirroring each other right now. I think you're both in this energy. I think right now um, there may be no communication. Oh, he's so close to crawling across it. Oh, it's killing me because I really want him to do it. <coughs> Sorry, I'm watching this ant. It's really cool. <laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah, I feel like I feel like you and the person that it is that you're thinking about, who may be a possible water sign or cancer, I believe that you're both mirroring each other and are in the same kind of energy. Sort of putting the sword down for now. Um meditating on stuff, thinking it through. There's some things that you have to process, okay? But one more turn and he's going to pick up his sword and cut through all the crap, okay? Because swords are about communication and, and honesty and clarity, okay? They're also about thoughts that can be very stabbing, but right now this is a restful period where you're working things out in your in your mind. Okay, so in, in the month of June, probably mid-month here, you're both going to be sort of processing where you are, how to get to this, which is your, this is your abundance, this is everything, this is um, happy life, happy wife, a possible baby, so um, there could be children involved. Um, this is, everything is just shining and raining with abundance, right? Um, this rainbow is raining down on you, all of the magic and the luck. Um, this is abundance in finances, this is abundance in love, family, friendships, relationships. Um, security, health, happiness, it's everything, it's kind of everything. This is like what, this is like the dream life scenario, okay? This is the dream life scenario, man. Complete comfort, complete love, complete awesome, right? And that's what I believe you both are going to be thinking about in the, in the month of June how to get this, how to get to this point, okay? Um, there were options, all right? Somebody has options or will have options in the month of June um, or possibly could have had options because the central focus for you, Gemini male, in the month of, new, of June of 2020, I can't speak. Somebody's got, a, somebody's got something to say. And that already they're having a hard time speaking up. So speak. Get out of your hanging man. Sit, get a, get out of it. You get you know if you have something on your mind and you have something to say, you need to say it. The hangman is just somebody who stays in stagnancy because it's comfortable for them. Because I can feel that you have something that you have to say. <laughs> 
You want to bring clarity to a situation, okay? You want to. So anyway, yeah, I feel that it's there's going to be kind of a rest period in the month of June where you're both sort of mulling things over. But after that, that sh it'll be a short period too, by the way. It'll be short. I would say a few days maybe. After that period is over, you're both going to want to bring clarity to the situation. You're going to pick up that sword and you're going to cut through any crap, any misunderstandings, you know, any um, thing that you're not sure about, any kind of questions. You're going to cut through everything with each other, I think, because you're, this is either all you or it's you or your, and your partner. Okay, you're both wanting the same thing here. You're both wanting a happiness. Everybody's wanting happiness, okay? Hands down. Um, and your central focus, though, is the, um, the loss that was suffered here. You know, it's been like a battle for this person. And he's, like I said, he's sitting down. He's taking a rest. All right? There's been loss. There's been cups that have been knocked over. That means that emotions have been poured out um, and left behind, kind of. Okay? So, you know, but this is a man who's been through a battle. He's fairly guarded right now because he's he's wearing, you know, he's wearing his battle attire. Okay? So... Um, and he's just, he's kind of on his knees, taking a break. He's breathing. He's taking a breather. Because there's been a lot of devastation here already and a lot of loss. That's your central focus. Okay? That is your central focus. There could have been some deception here as well. It could have involved uh, two other people. So once again here, we have now another subtlety of a possible third-party situation. Okay? Um, your options card is here as well. This is somebody who has options. Not all of these options are viable, mind you. But these, this is more than one. Okay, this is having a lot of options, looking at a lot of options. All right, but one stands out. One stands out above the rest, and this is a very mature relationship. Okay, um, this is the lover's card, and it has a tendency to be also considered divine, a divine soulmate relationship. This one stands out, this one. But, but you feel as though you've been through a battle, okay? You've been through a battle either for it or over it or because of it. And you just need a break, okay? And you may be even looking at other options right now, or there's been some devastation, or there's been some deception, perhaps. Some kind of battle over the options here. But what's at stake here? Either way, in your central focus, this is what's at stake, and this is a soulmate connection. This is a, it's a very, very important connection. Okay. Yeah. And you know you're you'll be in your king of cups energy here after processing and coming out of this um rest period, okay? In your if you're this is in your central focus, man, you know exactly what it is that you want. And you're not it's going to be hard to let go because no other option has come close it wouldn't be able to come close because this is a soulmate connection. Okay? It's a soulmate connection. This is from like a past life connection. Okay? So of course no other option is going to even match that or even come close. That's what's, I mean, it's your central focus is taking a pause so you can process this information so you can get back up and push forward through the rest of the month. Okay? Um, 
because this isn't something that you're going to be that is going to be easy for you to let go and it's not going to be something that you're going to be able to easily find in anyone else okay and that's why you are on your knees here all right it's bringing you to your knees and it could have involved two um two other people or there could have been two messages that really brought brought you to that falling onto to your knees moment you know it could have been messages but but whatever the case gemini this is an air sign as well the king of swords um you are in your king of swords energy in the month of june um knowing what it is that you want knowing what it is that's on your mind knowing how to deliver that information and knowing when to do it um all i'm noticing here is that yes this man has something to say he's holding that sword okay yes he has something on his mind he's holding the sword and the sword is there because he wants to use it at his discretion in order to bring clarity and understanding to any situation okay however the king of swords you know with the sword pointed down he also knows when to when to speak that truth and bring clarity and when not to um so he's very much in control over um bringing up bringing up that clarity i'm sorry i'm watching the ant and i'm really sad that it didn't climb across the lens i'm really sad about that <laughs> okay yeah but he has something to talk about he has he wants to discuss something okay he may not he may not be discussing it right at this point in time in your reading but he does have something to discuss and that is a brand new beginning okay um a leap of faith into a brand new journey but he is in hermit mode about it. Remember I said, Gemini, you're going to be kind of on a, uh, taking a breather, taking a rest after feeling like you've been through a battle. There may have been deception, um, but you, there, you suffered a loss here with these cups that have been knocked out, okay? And you're fairly guarded as well okay over this soulmate connection here and the options that someone had either you or your partner so if you're taking a break here and you guys are taking a break and a breather to a rest period to meditate you know here we have also the hermit it looks like mid-month in in june there's going to be a period of stagnancy over this situation Whoever this person is, um, and it, she po it could possibly be a cancer sign, there's going to be kind of a stagnancy period here where you're both sort of mirroring each other in the same kind of energy, thinking about the same things, but having to pick it apart in your head your own way, okay? Taking kind of a breather, a step back perhaps, or just a rest period here to process the loss, process the hurt, process any stabbing thoughts that you may have about the situation, okay? Because your goal, your ultimate goal really is happiness, but there's just a lot going on in your mind, a lot going on as far as options. Um, I'm, you know, passions and emotions. I'm seeing it as passions because there's so much fire in the background. Um, but you're going to also be in hermit stage. This is when you go within. You go within then to find the answers. Like you, you weren't doing it just taking a break. Um, it was still on your mind. It was still in your heart. You need to go in go within and really truly dig down deep and figure out what it is that's so intense about this connection for you 
okay? Because you so want to take a, a new fresh start here, a leap of faith into a brand new journey, all right? That's what you really want, and you have so much to say. You just, you right now, at this moment in your reading, in the middle of June, you're not ready to speak it yet, okay? You're not ready to speak it yet. You're still processing your own truth, much less being able to just pick up and go share it with, you know, the person that you're like uberly in love with. All right, so mid-month of June of 2020, Gemini male, you're going to have this lull. This knowing that you have this intense connection is going to hang with you through it, through it. So it's going to be, I think you're going to feel fairly stable through this. Like, I think you're going to know exactly what it is that you're doing, but you just need to go within to sort it all out. Okay, I think, I don't feel here like you're feeling unstable at all. I don't feel in here like you're feeling not confident at all. I feel that you just have a lot to process between the thoughts and the, and the emotions and all the other options that you will be looking at. That's, your, that's also in your central focus are your other options as well. Okay, but it's going to be kind of a, an easygoing flow for probably about a week or so, okay, in mid-month of June. Okay, yeah, so you go from hermit energy to then being completely trapped in your mind regarding this situation with your cancer or whoever it is that you want. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. My camera always shuts off after 30 minutes. Okay, so anyway, um, so yeah, you're going to be in hermit energy for a while, going within to sort things out, to process all of the things that you want, all the things that you're thinking about, and all of the emotions you're feeling, and all of these other options that are kind of floating around in the background, okay? Um, so once you start coming out of that, you're still going to feel kind of trapped in your mind, okay, in the month of June, trapped in your mind. All of these are those thoughts that now, though, now where we don't see what's bugging him in this picture because it's so dark and he's got to shine like a flashlight on everything. Here, though, You've pulled them all out after looking at everything for about a week or so. So yeah, you're still trapped, but at least you can kind of, you know, you're processing these thoughts. You are trapped in your mind about it though, but you do know what you want to do. And that is to come in with some type of offer of stability, okay? Um, this could also be an earth sign as well, all right? But see, this person too is very guarded, all right? So we already knew that you were guarded. You you were already wearing your battle gear, okay, in your central focus. But towards the end of the month, you're going to know that this is too getting too much for you to handle. You're not going to like feeling trapped in your mind, okay? You're not, these are stabbing thoughts that are really bothering you. They could be guilty feelings. They could be, um, you know, part of your options here. It could be anything, it could, but it's definitely going to be surrounding your happiness with this Cancer person or this um, Queen of Cups who is very loving, very nurturing very very loving very nurturing i mean you would know a water sign especially a cancer and this is also the sign of can for cancer that's why i keep bringing up cancer you have a lot of water here okay so um yeah but you're all trapped in your thoughts now but at least you know through all of this processing that you you know who this person is and what they mean to you now okay out of all these options 
um, you've taken time for yourselves, but you've you're, you've stayed your your focus has stayed on your happiness with the soulmate connection and a new beginning. This whole time, that's what you've been thinking about is wanting a new beginning with the soulmate connection because that's what makes you happy. So you know what it is that you want. You're just trapped in your mind at that point towards the end of June about how to execute this, right? How to make, how to bring this to fruition, okay? So the first step, of course, to do would be to kind of lighten that burden, right? Because these are, these are mental burdens. The first thing to, that anyone would think of doing is to lighten the burden by bringing in some kind of offer of stability or friendship, okay? Starting out slow, perhaps, you know, just kind of sliding in, you know, hey, I just want to lay some things out on the table, you know, I don't want this to happen anymore. Let's, let's, um, let's start off slow. What do you think? Because I'm kind of guarded too, and um, let's maybe be friends, you know, come on, what do you say, right? Let's be, and I, you know, we'll be stable friends. This is an offer of stability. This could be even communication about a possible be beginning of a commitment. This is also young energy. This could be someone in their possible early 20s. But um, this is a Knight of Pentacles, though, who is the slowest moving knight in the deck. They move, it takes them forever, forever. Um, and that's because you're trapped in your mind about it. You really are, you're wanting to figure out every detail. You're going through all the scenarios, like what could happen here? What? But here's the thing, you know, like I say, Gemini, you are the most intuitive sign in the zodiac. Maybe don't stress out so much and keep yourself so so trapped, but but maybe now is a good time for you to rely on that intuition of yours, okay? Because the longer the longer you stay trapped in your mind, the hardest I mean the harder it's going to get. You know what I mean? This is tough being stuck here. Um, having those sleepless nights, right? This is you, Gemini Meal. That's you. So, you know, because of that energy, you're moving in really slow with this beginning of an offer, okay? Very, very slowly. Very slowly, but at least you've started moving. You're starting to come out of hermit energy then towards the end of the month but you're moving slow with this shit still on your mind, okay? Still trapped by it, but beginning to come out and starting to transform these thoughts a little bit, you know, and process things a little bit better. You do need to take your blindfold off, though. This is a person who's blindfolded. If you took your blindfold off and looked at this from a different perspective, answers might come to you to get you unstuck okay so take your blindfold off so you can get out of here because this person could get out if they could see their way out all right don't stay in this stressed out energy you got to be able to see your the way out all right so um about the last month of june or the last week of june here Nine of Wands, um, this is a person who is almost there. Once again, kind of taking a breath. Not really a break, but a breath. Because this person has one, they got a little bit of fight left in them. They've got this one wand of passion. Yes, there's been a lot of burdens. Um, yes, they have been through a battle, okay? but they've got that last one there and they're gonna defend it. They're gonna get up. They know they, they are so close to finishing. This person's gonna get up and make it to the tens, right? Make it to the 10 of wands, the completion. They gotta get up and complete this though. But right now they're just kinda going, 
It's not even a breather, it's just a breath. But they're going to get up, especially with the wands energy. This is taking action. You are almost there. You're almost there. And in the King of Cups energy, this is um, this could also be stand for a water sign. However, in this energy, the King of Cups, he's filled with emotion. Okay, he's definitely filled with emotion. However, he's got a handle on it because he's a king. So he can be filled with emotion and having it almost running over, but yet he has control over those emotions and the king energy okay does that does that make sense i hope that makes sense so basically when i see these two cards here towards the end of june for you um what i'm seeing is you're uh, you're almost to the end of completion for whatever the situation is um you're heavily burdened over this um soulmate love connection okay this falls this is right above this okay um and you're very emotional about it you're very emotional about it but yet you have your emotions under control so like you can feel those emotions on the inside kind of running over but you don't show it um and you've been communicating you're you know you have control of your communication as well you know when to speak and when not to you know, you know when to go within and, and when not to, right? And when to come out of it. You both know what it is that you want. Yeah, in this energy, I see that you're almost there. You're almost to the end. You've got this one passion here that you're willing to defend. You're going to get up here. You're going to take action and you're going to push it just a little bit further all while being in control of your emotions. And I think that's also saying that you can't control these emotions much longer. Like you only have one more to go before you're completely burdened. So I'm thinking what you're trying to say is you're crazy about whoever this is that is your central focus. So crazy about them in fact and knowing beyond the shadow of a doubt this is a soulmate connection for you or a strong bond partnership um, that, uh, you know, it, the controlling of your emotions and keeping them under wraps and very controlled like in King Energy is almost more burdens than you can actually bear. Just, the, just controlling your emotions. So that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling you're, you're so stuck in your mind, you want to go in and offer some kind of stable offer here to somebody but you're moving so slowly because you're mentally trapped in your head about the situation because this person is so dang important to you um that at the end of towards the end of the month here in june you're gonna feel like keeping those emotions under control for you over this person is almost more than you can bear in um in burdens okay but you know you got to push it just a little bit farther so you get back up okay or you try to it is very very difficult though because in getting back up you're going to realize that you're at a crossroads now at the end of June, you're going to be in the cro at a crossroads, Gemini male, with two directions to choose, Cho two th paths to choose from, I guess is what I want. Two paths to choose from? Yes. But you're still going to be feeling like you're missing an opportunity. You're going to be feeling very melancholy at the end of June. Melancholy meaning like, oh, woe is me. I missed that opportunity. I can't believe I missed that. That kind of feeling. And if you stay in that emotion for too long, if you stay in that energy for too long, you will actually miss an opportunity that the divine is trying to hand to you at the end of June. Okay, so while you're in this crossroads here, don't linger 
um, you're going to feel like you're going to be lingering in this melancholy, nostalgic type, missing out on something kind of mood. So it may delay your choice here from stepping onto a whole new path. You're, you're ready to take a leap of faith anyway into a new journey. Yeah, just be mindful of this, of, of this kind of energy because this kind of energy, you can get stuck there and, and actually miss the opportunity because of it, okay? All right, Gemini Meal, let's pull some um, flashcards for you. These are just regular flashcards. And see what kind of advice I can give you for the month of June. Okay, what kind of advice do you have to find for Gemini Mail for the month of June of 2020? What advice do you have for Gemini Mail for the month of 2020 of June? Sorry, June of 2020. Cat, yeah, okay. <coughs> In the month of June, you're going to feel like doing your own thing. You're going to feel like going your own way no matter what people are telling you. That's why, like I said, mid middle of the month of June, you're going to be in the hangman position trying to figure things out on your own. Hangman or hang... No, I'm sorry, hermit. Why do I keep saying hangman? Hermit energy. Going within, figuring things out for yourself. Okay? because it's going to be that important. You know this could very well be a life decision for you because you're dealing with a soulmate attachment, okay? A soulmate energy. You don't really want to miss any opportunity, so you go within. Even though people may be calling you out or people may be criticizing you or people may be can giving you your... your giving you their opinions of, of this situation, you're going to only want to do what you want. You're only going to want to do what's on your mind for you. The thing about cats is they can be loyal, okay? But the, the main meaning of this card for me is a cat, they're not like a dog, okay? They can love you and you can love them and it's great, but if you call a cat... They're not just going to come running to you, okay? That's going to resonate with somebody. If you call a cat, they're not going to just come running to you. A cat's going to be like, yeah, well, if I'm comfortable right now, um, I'm just going to stay here, but I'll come to you when I feel like it. <laughs> So you're going to be, and my ear is itching right now. So yes, you are going to be doing your own thing. You're going to be wanting to handle this situation in your own way, okay? You're going to be wanting to do it in your own way. And you're not going to listen to other people's advice and how they think you should do it. Um, you're not going to be listening to other people's opinions on how they think you should go. You're going to want to be going within and making your own decisions for yourself, Gemini male. Okay, so you're going to be kind of stubborn on this. But, you know, honestly, I can't say that that's a bad thing. Right? I cannot say that that's a bad thing. Going within to figure something out, I think, is better than anything anybody else can tell you how to live your life because it's not their life, it's your life. And you have the responsibility to yourself to go within and do and figure out what it is that you want and how you want to do it. It's your life. So yes, be stubborn. Yes, do your own thing. Stop and think about what it is that you want or there may be this could mean that there may be some kind of pattern that you need to stop doing okay um but to me that means yeah stop stop listening to other people stop worrying about how things are normally done even perhaps go within and figure it out on your own just stop 
because kind of like I said everything kind of slows down for you in mid-June so that you can stop what it is that you're doing go within think about this and what it is that you want to do with it okay yeah so you can come out and keep pushing on right because you're gonna come out of that energy and you're gonna have some decisions to make at the end of June but it's better than being in stagnancy do you know what I'm saying what else can you show us divine for Gemini in the month of June 2020 any other messages I think we're almost done with your reading Gemini thank you so much for showing up at my channel and um, I hope this resonated with somebody what messages do you have it's kind of too many but okay yeah all right this is going to be your final message Gemini okay in the month of June um, this is a card for angry but I don't believe that you're going to be feeling angry so much as you're going to feel kind of like a discontent because there's going to be a lot on your mind that you need to work through um I don't know why, but I'm getting the feeling of dumbfounded. They're throwing the word dumbfounded in my head. So maybe towards the end of July, you'll be a little bit dumbfounded. Um, so that means kind of stuck. Okay, that means stuck. Which, yeah, okay, yeah. I can see you get a little bit stuck here in the, in the middle of the month. And towards the end with this, you are going to feel a little stuck. <laughs> Yeah, because you're stuck in your mind. So that's dumbfounded, okay? Um, but yeah, this is going to be like a feeling for you mid to end of June, right? Um, you're going to be, oh boy, you're going to be wanting to lay a lot out on the table. Like I said, um, Queen or King of Swords energy swords you're gonna have something to say Knight of Swords energy you have to you want to have you want to speak your mind here in the Knight of Swords energy this is having something to say so you want to lay some things out on the table you want to lay it all out on the table in the month of June towards the end of June okay but you know but you're going to know that whatever decision you make and whatever words you speak or whatever it is that you're you're manifesting here through um, meditation that's something that you won't be able to edit okay this is going to be something um that's going to be permanent whatever your decision that you're going to make here at the end of june at your crossroads Whatever decision you make, this is a very important crossroads for you at the end of June. Whatever decision you make there, it's going to be permanent. And it's going to affect your life measurably. Me measurably. Yeah. Measurably. Okay? That is your advice for the month of June of 2020, Gemini male. All right? Um, I hope that resonated with you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Time is fluid and roles can also be reversed. Um, thank you for coming and, and um, supporting my channel tonight. And um, thank you for all your likes, subscribes, shares, comments, donations. Um, I hope you all have a fabulous month of July. Or why do I keep saying July? time is fluid so if it's not ha if this isn't happening in in June start carrying it into July because I've said that now a couple times I think anyway have a great month Gemini and peace out